Hello, hello! So it is time for this week's Dollar Tree Haul, and I have some really cute um, little things to share with all of you. But I also have a few items from Family Dollar. I thought they were cute when I ran in the other day. And today I ran there because I needed some of their mugs. So a warning again, if you are using the Dollar Tree mugs for vinyl or the water slides that I have been doing different videos on, this one I'm going to show tomorrow with um, the little gift idea I came up with. And I do have them in several little different styles. But the problem I've been running into is... These mugs, you really have to watch. Here is the one that I made that's a unicorn. Is If you don't watch the little imperfections in here, when you go to put your vinyl or your water slide on, you're going to notice, like right here, I do notice these little dimples, but I think I can get away with it. But you really have to pay attention if you're buying the Dollar Tree mugs. So here is something I thought was really, really cute. And what I thought you can do is you can actually add some of the little ingredients in here. So it actually tells you how to make little gingerbread cookies. So I thought that this would be a cute little thing to do. Or you could actually just add maybe some brownies or cookie mix. And when I went to... Dollar General, was that Dollar General? No, this is Family Dollar, sorry. Family Dollar. They had these. How cute are these? So I thought you could add one of these in here. I didn't pay attention to what kind they had, but I thought that that was really cute for winter, and it's really well made. It's a lot thicker than the one from Dollar Tree has, so I got that little guy, but I thought this was really, really a cute idea, and you can add some of the ingredients and wrap it up with a bow. So I thought that was cute. I was surprised to see this garland because this is the first time I have seen this. It is white garland with the little cars all over it. So I thought that that was so doggone cute. I think I'm going to put this on my tree this year. I got two of these because I don't know if it's just me, but these look much bigger than the other ones that they had. And they only had them that look like a boy. So I'm actually going to take the Dollar Tree skirt and I'm going to make one a girl and I'm going to change maybe the hat a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to do something different just to have a girl and a boy. I just wanted to try it and see if it worked. But if you didn't see how we made our little Dollar Tree hats, we made the little Santa hats that go on the mugs. So, if you didn't see that video, I will post it below. And you can make it for any size. You can do it for a wine bottle. You can do it for a mug. You can do it for basically anything you want. So that video is below in the description. Again, you have to be on YouTube in order to get to the description page because many people ask me. Then I got these cute socks. How cute are these? A two-pack of regular socks. These are for my son's girlfriend. I thought they were so cute. Milk and cookies. And then they come with a striped pair. So I thought that was really cute. Then I got this garland as well because I thought this was fun. These have little snowmen on them, so this would be like really cute in a wreath as well. So they have like different uh, garland this year that they didn't have before. And then I got regular garland because I have a project coming up that you guys know I'll be sharing. Then I got this cute mitt they actually have the towel and i believe that they have the other one with it so this would make a nice gift to put everything together and put a bow around it if you know somebody that lives on a farm or has chickens um i thought this was pretty fun then i got these socks for my son's girlfriend to give to her dad of course they like a cold beer after work and i thought these were super cute so i got those then I made that, um, I showed the little Frozen, which I haven't seen anymore at the store, is the little stocking for her niece. And they have a three-pack of socks. So I thought that these were really cute. So I got her a pack of socks, and there's three different. There's white, and there's, so I thought these were fun. For, for a dollar, you get three pairs. I do like to have their makeup in my purse just like as an emergency so I like their LA brand and their watercolors just to throw them in my purse as an extra so they have the little contour um, I know some places don't have any of this stuff anymore but this is a great little stocking stuffer to get mascara and concealer then I got 
next, this. I think I might put some vinyl on here or something. Now, breast cancer awareness is over, but as many of you know, I am a recent survivor. And this is the largest one that I had ever seen. It's got the little tack pin there, but look at it. It's big enough to actually write, I'm a survivor, or Sandy Strong was our fundraiser t-shirts. So I thought that was really cute, and that's really kind of big. So I got that. They have these out again. So these are in the front kiosk on those little glass turnstile tables. So they have these for wine. So even if you get juice or something, they have the bottles that look like um, wine, you know what I mean, wine bottles, but they're actually juice. So we have those. Then these were the few items that I got from Family Dollar. So I got a little spatula. I got these boxes because we all need little different boxes for the holidays and I thought that these were perfect size for a little gift. Um, we've been making our little ornaments and things. If you haven't seen the marble ornaments, that link is below. And I got these because I thought they were kind of cute. They're only a dollar, but they have little stars in them and they have um, those little old-fashioned bulbs in there, so I thought that was really cute. And I got this little gnome and he was only a dollar as well so I got him there are a lot of different gnomes I haven't made any this year but don't forget we made these which are the styrofoam made out of Dollar Tree um, cookie cutters so we made this one we have made the coasters that are the reindeers with the water slide paper as well so I'll put that below as well and tomorrow we are working on the mugs and my idea with putting cookies and hot chocolate and a cellophane wrap around it. So that video will be tomorrow. And of course, we are still moving forward to 65 days. I believe we are on uh, day 22. So there's still more things coming up, a lot of fun ideas, including our little memory mugs. This is a Dollar Tree mug as well. So this is the saying that the water slide paper has. And then on this side, again, that's my mom. This is a regular picture of her. So I will show you all how to do that, including the little memory um, ornaments that I'm going to be making as well. So we have a lot of fun things coming up. I just wanted to share some of the little things that I'm giving away this weekend because they are leaving to go visit her family in Kentucky and I just wanted to show you the fun socks and things because I thought these were so doggone cute for um, the guys. So these are actually in the sock section but you do have to kind of like look through them because these were way in the back and I was happy to grab them and I do have a few pairs for my son and his girlfriend as well. So these were the few items that I got this week. Again I don't have really big hauls going on because I'm watching all my pennies but we do have a lot of fun projects coming up in, including something that you're not going to want to miss um, coming up really really soon so make sure you subscribe and I will see you on the next one bye now